Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am back for another part to this series. The first video we did these paper clip tabbed or tab paper clips and uh, they are using paper clips and they're nice because they sit up like a tab on your book edges. And in the next one we did the same thing only we used magnets instead of paper clips. Today I'm using a specific paper that I'm going to give you as a free download. Now there will be two uh, downloads for you. They're both PDFs and they will each make five paper clips. So the same design, but one of them has lolly peep on the first paper clip. So this is what it would look like. And there's the back. Of course, this is not a good paper representation. Let me pull these off and show you. What I love about these and what is different, let's get another one in here for comparison. On these other ones, the short uh, flap was in the back and it was a solid cardstock on the front. I added this decoration later, but this, because of the pattern in the paper, you can see that you don't have to use two different kinds of cardstock. You just get the pattern look automatically. And I also gave the, the uh, short flap is in the front and you see a, a, a considerably bit more of the design than you would have if we had this little short catch right there. And also this one, the overlap of the cardstock is pretty short. This one, the overlap is closer to the top. So that's what happens when you take this. So again, I'm going to give you two downloads. One of them has the lolly peep is the first clip. And then you will get four more one and a half inch wide clips out of this series. But if you don't want a lolly peep one on there, that's fine. I'm giving you a plain one as well without the lolly peep on there. So, and if you want to join my lolly palooza peeps group on Facebook, I'm also giving you a link down below to that. So um, other than this download, you will need some glue for gluing paper, some really sturdy uh, permanent glue for your paper clip or magnet, distress ink if you want it, and then some binder clips, and of course your choice of uh, paper clips or magnets. And so the first thing you need to do is to trim it right around the edge of the design. Don't fussy cut around these flowers, just cut straight down like that. I also use a scoring board. So you're going to turn your pattern. It's going to be pattern up and facing this way. This one obviously has a different scoring pattern because it's a different shape. And so what you're ending up with, when you print this, make sure in your printer settings on when you pull up the PDF and it says, you know, landscape, portrait, etc., color, black and white, choose print actual size and that will automatically give you nine and a half inch long and then a seven and a half inches wide which is what gives you five paper clips so with it upright we're going to score at one and a quarter three and a half seven and a quarter grab the bottom flip it up and we're going to score at five and someone has commented does it really make a difference yes it does make a difference to have your scores facing different directions because it has to do with how you bend the, the paper. So now that we have this, we're gonna cut it into one and a half inch wide segments. And so you'll have, like if you just cut one at a time, that's fine. They're easier to store that way. Like I have several sheets here that I have pre-scored and I have a white one, I have a bee themed one, I have some llama ones. They're all pre-scored and ready to go. If you want to round your corners, now is a good time get that ready. You don't have to round your corners. You see I didn't on the other one. So again, we're saying that valleys become mountains. This is a valley. It's recessed. I'm going to make it stick up. This one goes this way because it's a mountain. I'm making it into a valley, etc. All the way through. This is what you end up with. It's a completely different shape than before. Still looks like a C here with this long arm and this is where the paper clip is going. If you're doing magnets, the magnets are going low here and here. So either way, either magnets go around this or your paper clip goes around there. We're gonna do both on one video. I wanted to show you also, you can stamp on this. Now is a good time before you do any gluing. If you don't have the lolly peep one, you can stamp on it. And if you want the back of the clip to be stamped like right here, 
you need to flip it this way, upside down, and stamp right here. So that's what I did here. I stamped it toward the bottom because it's going to have a flap coming over. This is handcrafted original. That was a stamp from Michael's, I believe. Okay, so these I have distressed just a really lightly with some brown, uh, the walnut stain. So I'm trying to think here if I want to. I don't think I'm going to round the corners this time. But um, if you really like the good spring color, you don't have to distress. So we're going to do this one, and then we're going to do the one, one magnet and one paper clip. So you could also use decorative scissors to give this a little bit of a decorative edge there if you wanted to. Okay, so we'll do one of each of those. Let's, I can tell I need to uh, replace my foam pad because they start shedding after a while. Okay, so we're going to get a paper clip, permanent glue. We're gonna grab and pinch that right there. The short end is in front, so the short end of the loop of the paper clip goes in there. You will notice this is a really snug fit. The paper clip really just fits in there perfectly. I'm just going to do a swipe across here, a swipe across there. reason I don't use Fabri-Tac is Fabri-Tac is not for metal. There we go. Short end of the paper clip there and straight down. It really fits all the way. And let's get the glue out for paper. I'm using Barely Art. And let's start by folding this part up. And make sure we've got that lined up. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to glue this, that, line it up left and right, glue this entirely, and then all we have to do is clip it side, both sides and the top. With that paper clip in the middle, it's easy for your papers to kind of slide back and forth. So let's get that really solidified on the top especially if you want to do eyelets. On this one, I did two of the tiny 1 8 inch eyelets and I put um, a ribbon through them. So I really like that look. Okay, I'm gonna cap my glue for now. And while that is setting, we're going to play with this one and put the magnets on it. So same thing, this is a valley becomes a mountain. Mountain becomes valley. Very cute. I'm gonna do this off camera so I don't get it all over my craft surface. You can see what that stamp looks like on back. I think that's perfect. You could obviously stamp up here too, but I really like that. I like that it gives me something on the back there. So let's look at doing magnets. Now these I have showed in my other magnet video. These are uh, really a little bit too wide uh, because they are really hard to separate. And if you have weak hands, it's, it's a pain. The ones that I first linked under my magnet video seem to be a little not wide enough. So I also have a second link for a better source for one that's in between. That's your best bet. You do want the one millimeter wide, also called one thirty second of an inch wide. So if we separate these, remember it needs to go, remember this fold right here, it needs to go on either side of that. We're going to separate this, these magnets, and put them on there to where they meet. See if we like that. Then I'm gonna trace them both. This is a little different than what I did last time. So I'm gonna leave that one on there so I know where to glue this. I mean, which way it goes, because they are directional. Let's get this glue. So I got some on top, some on the bottom. Gonna glue up. Not going to glue around the power tack. Yes, E6000 works. The reason I switched from E6000 to power tack is the fumes. This is way less toxic than E6000. And when I first started doing paper clip videos, you know I always recommended E6000. So just so you know, let that plop where it wants to plop. And now I can shut this up. Okay, because I do so many paper clips, I go through a lot of power tack. I got some little crazy here with too much there. And don't put your paper glue over your power tack. Let the power tack do its thing. Oh, you don't want to negate it. Okay, now I need to steal these binder clips. Put them either side of that magnet. And I think I really like this with stamping on it. 
If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe and take a look at the videos that I have uh, already done that you can go through and binge watch. And I will give you a link down below to the Paperclip Art Group and also to Lollipalooza Peeps Group. Now let's take a really close up look at these. What's your favorite? Do you like it plain or do you like the stamped version? And of course, make sure you look down below to get your copy of the free PDF downloads. I think you're going to love working with this. And if you love sunflowers like I do, this would be great with a little bee added to the top. I just think they're so, so cute.